Well, this is amazing. Usually you don't see poison hemlock get this tall, but uh, you can see this is, has to be at least 10 feet tall. Across all of Idaho, you will find unwanted invasive weeds. Here along hiking and biking trails in the Boise foothills, we find several noxious weeds in about a 10-foot square area. And yes, uh, this is actually one of Idaho's 64 listed noxious weeds. It's called poison hemlock. And it's actually, uh, believe it or not, one of the most toxic plants in the western hemisphere. Uh, a little bit of juice uh, goes a long way. Uh, if you get the juice on your hands, for instance, eat an apple, you will probably likely get really, really sick or die. You want to make sure that you don't have this uh, around where children play especially. Uh, you don't want it where livestock and grazing animals are because if they eat it, they will die. Here we have scotch thistle, it's called. It's also one of Idaho's uh, noxious weeds on, on, on the 64 list. In this particular stage right here, you can see it's you know not very tall, but sometimes it'll get eight feet tall itself, and it's like a big spiny barrier. You can't really get rid of it. Just use a shovel and pop the crown uh, you know, from the ground, and it, it'll kill it. This weed alone has overtaken four million acres of land in Idaho. Yeah, rush skeleton weed, uh, you'll find a lot of it in this area. Uh, back in 1961 was the first known infestation in Banks, Idaho. There was less than four acres of it. Now it encompasses uh, over four million acres of land. And the seed's so light uh, that it'll actually float in the wind for about 30 miles, uh, start a new infestation in remote areas. And uh, we're seeing it more and more up in the Frank Church Wilderness area and other places across the state. And the problem with rush skeleton weed is there really is no intrinsic value whatsoever to animals. It, it's bitter, uh, it doesn't have any nutritional value whatsoever, and uh, nothing really wants to eat it. Control and eradication of the weeds is an ongoing war for land managers and property owners. But Bat says everybody can help with simple knowledge that's easy to find. The knowledge is the key, uh, especially with noxious weeds. Some people can identify quite a few of them, others can't identify any of them. So we have a noxious weed book available. Uh, it's, it's paid for uh, by the Weed Awareness Campaign and through the state of Idaho and the University of Idaho. It's a partnership. We have it available on our website. Folks can actually go to it and order the book for free. Uh, it's on our homepage at IdahoWeedAwareness.com. It has about 125 different pages. It lists all 64 of Idaho's noxious weeds, and it, it's uh, basically for identification purposes. And also on our website, not only do we have that, but we go quite a few steps further and do the best integrated pest management approaches, uh, whether it's uh, herbicide treatments, biological control, revegetation, or whatever it might be. We use all of those options and show what that might look like to the uh, person that might have one of these or several of these noxious weeds on their property. This is Steve Ritter reporting.